Since the creation of the Earth, there had been several mass extinctions. The dinosaurs, the masters of the Earth, had disappeared, and now only their traces remain. Humans have ruled the Earth for a very short time compared to dinosaurs. And we may one day experience the same fate as them. Whether by a meteorite impact, or by nuclear bombs, or by artificial intelligence that we have created. To avoid unpredictable apocalypse, scientists are searching for a new settlement for mankind. In 1997, a research team from NASA and the University of Massachusetts launched the Two Mass Project to find Earth-like planets. Two Mass was an ambitious project, observing more than 300 million celestial bodies. While conducting this project, scientists discover a very unique star. It was the self-shining star TRAPPIST-1, 40 light years from Earth. TRAPPIST-1, like the Sun, is a self-luminous red dwarf star. However, compared to the Sun, it is a completely small star. It is small and weak in light and heat. It has a mass 8.9% of the Sun and a radius 11% of the Sun. It is slightly larger than Jupiter, which is very small for a self-luminous star. In terms of brightness, it is even more shabby. It has a brightness only 0.05% of the Sun. Of course, the small size and weak light is good in some aspects. Most of the stars like the Sun live short, but TRAPPIST-1 burns for a long time. TRAPPIST-1 is expected to live up to 12 trillion years, while the Sun's lifespan is expected to be 5 billion years. Anyway, the important thing is that a Sun-like star has been discovered. This means, just as the solar system is formed around the Sun, and there is an Earth, planets similar to the Earth can exist around TRAPPIST-1. Scientists investigating TRAPPIST-1 system hit the jackpot. All seven planets orbiting TRAPPIST-1 were terrestrial planets made of rock. These planets have a lot in common with Earth. First of all, the radius is 70 to 110 percent of the Earth's, and the density is not much different. 60 to 120 percent. The surface temperature of some of these planets is between 0 and 100 degrees Celsius, and it is known that there is a high probability that liquid water exists. Moreover, TRAPPISTS 1D, E, F, and G are neither too close nor too far from TRAPPISTS 1, so they have the right temperature for life. It is in an area where life can exist, and this area is called Goldilocks Zone. This is not just a jackpot for scientists. So far, more than 40 planets on which life can exist have been discovered, but this is the first time that so many planets close to the Earth are reported at the same time. Scientists were excited. The surface temperature of TRAPPIST-1 is much lower than that of the Sun. Therefore, the Goldilocks zone of TRAPPIST-1 system is much closer than that of Solar System. A large campfire will be warm from a distance, but a small candle will get warmer when you get closer. So, the seven planets orbit around TRAPPIST-1 at a close distance. As they orbit close together, their orbital period is also very short. A year on a planet closest to TRAPPIST-1 is only 36 hours. Since planets orbit at a short distance, if you look at the sky from one planet, other planets would appear several times larger than the moon seen from Earth. There are seven planets from TRAPPIST-1b to H, but let's take a look at some of the planets with the highest probability of existence of life. TRAPPIST-1d is the first planet in Goldilocks zone. Scientists predict that planet D is a sea planet where all the rocky surfaces of the planet are covered with liquid. However, there is a factor that reduces the possibility of life on TRAPPIST-1d. It is flare. A flare is a sudden burst of enormous amounts of light and energy from the surface of a star, such as the Sun. When a large-scale flare occurs from the Sun, the Earth's satellites and communication equipment are disabled, and large-scale power outages sometimes occur. 
So, if Trappist 1's flares are frequent and powerful, the chances of life on Planet D will be greatly reduced. Fortunately, Trappist 1's flare frequency is 30 times lower than similar stars. Next is Planet E, the second planet in Goldilocks zone. Scientists have the most positive evaluation on this planet. Planet E receives 60% of Earth's ultraviolet radiation, so it is estimated that it has a moderate temperature and water. In addition, there is little hydrogen in atmosphere. Hydrogen causes the greenhouse effect, so less hydrogen is suitable for living things. The top priority of the recently launched James Webb Telescope is observing TRAPPIST-1e. Now do you see how important this planet is? Let's wait for the James Webb Telescope to release results soon. And the last two planets in Goldilocks zone, TRAPPIST-1f and G. Both F and G appear to have deep oceans and a potentially oxygen-rich atmosphere. In fact, the scientific team at St. Andrews University extrapolated that the ocean on TRAPPIST-1g may be 670 kilometers deep. There are several possibilities that life may not exist in TRAPPIST-1 system. The first reason is tidal locking. It is easier when you think of the moon. Our moon always shows only one side to the Earth. However, it is very likely that planets in TRAPPIST-1 system are always facing TRAPPIST-1 from only one side. In this way, one side of the planet may be day forever, and the other side is night forever. This means that half of the planet is constantly heated, and half is extremely cold. And in the middle area, very strong winds are expected due to the extreme temperature difference. Of course, this is an unfavorable condition for the birth and evolution of lives. The Earth rotates once a day and receives the sun's light evenly. So, rotation of the Earth is a blessing for us. Of course, some scholars argue that there is a suitable area for life in middle area. Everything is still a mystery. The James Webb Telescope has left Earth to uncover the secrets of the universe. We can only guess from Earth, and everything will have to be observed by the James Webb Telescope. After observation, we will finally have to visit and check out by ourselves. And even if there is no life in TRAPPIST-1 system right now, it would not be such a pity. Just as it took billions of years from the birth of the Earth to the creation of life, there is a possibility that life will be born and evolve later. I wrap up the video, looking forward to the amazing gift James Webb Telescope will bring. Subscriptions and likes are a motivation to continuing this channel. Thanks!